Finally tonight, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in his own words. On this Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a day of service in Shillington, Pennsylvania, donating food in Benton Harbor, Michigan, bringing boxes of food to families in need, all remembering Dr. King's words. Somewhere we must discover the world over and we must learn to live together as brothers or we will all perish together as fools. His final Sunday sermon at Washington National Cathedral, just four days before his life was taken. It may well be that we will have to repent in this generation, not merely for the vitriolic words and the violent actions of the bad people, but for the appalling silence and indifference of the good people who sit around and say, wait on time. Today, Dr. King's daughter, Dr. Bernice A. King, at her parents' gravesite, saying this King holiday has not only come at a time of great peril and physical violence, it has also come during a time of violence in our speech, what we say and how we say it. It is frankly out of control, and we are causing too much harm to one another. Her father once warning about silence, about indifference. So however dark it is, However deep the angry feelings are and the violent explosions are, I can still sing, we shall overcome. We shall overcome because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. His words just as powerful today. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.